Okay, sorry. Sorry, there's no sound. Is there sound now? I, did, I think I had turned it on mute on accident. Okay, somebody tell me that you can hear something. Let me check it. I think it just got it. Did it get it? Can you hear it now? Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I thought I had turned it off mute, but I must have turned it on mute. Okay, good. Phew. All right. So anyway, thank you for being here and for letting me take care of or teach your kids uh, piano. And I'm super excited for the coming year. I've been making plans already for what we're going to be doing in the coming year as well. Um, so we will go ahead and just go through our, um, our concert. And then I've got some awards for people as well. Um, I wonder if we should do those first because some people might have to leave. We'll do that really quick. Quickly first, we're gonna go ahead and go through the awards and then we'll we'll um, do the concert after that. Okay, so I have lots of trophies for people. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Oh, while you're being here, pop from there. Do you wanna just hand it out? Okay, so the first one, Wyatt. Oh. Wyatt had um, use our <laughs> feet <laughs> belt. Can you just set it down for a second? <laughs> we wanted the baby to be able to clap for you. So Wyatt, <laughs> there's yours, and you were our feet belt winner. You beat yes. out Eric. <laughs> So congratulations, come on up.
March 10th, and this will be her first concert. So we're super excited yeah. for her. All right. Let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to start with Ainsley. Come on up, Ainsley. Here, hold on for just a second. Let me get set up because I do want to make sure I got you. Oops. Rocket and I'll be playing um, You'll Be in My Heart from Tarzan. Thank you. 
did an air play, play this song on the TV. The week, AG, AGR week on the, just do it on YouTube, on YouTube. And then put it on the TV, the video. It's okay. I'm sorry I didn't talk to you about it beforehand. <laughs> we just decided to do this and you were a baseball game. <laughs>
I'm not sure how it I'm going to be playing the Muppet Show theme song.
Sam Cooley and I will be playing Inspector Gadget. by Alan Walker.
So we are at Cave.
<clears throat> I do have um, two more little videos that we're going to watch on the TV. It is um, Spencer and Thomas Eves. We recorded theirs because they had a, um, a meet that they had to go to. Oops. Um, a track meet that they went to. So, got that. And then we're going to do this. treats that you guys brought so thank you for bringing a plate it's always fun and um so piano can be kind of an isolating thing to do and so it's when we have these piano parties and we come together that we can actually participate together in piano and, and group lessons are the same thing speaking of we will have a group lesson the first monday of june or no second monday of june the 8th seventh or eighth of june so anyway uh, so be sure to look out for that um so so playing music and doing any art is is good for the development of the human okay this is an important part and i know that you guys all believe that because you're here and you find that you have set this as a priority and um, there are so many benefits to music i just wanted to share this uh, little words of wisdom that 
I read somewhere, I don't remember where I read it, and I don't know who the author of it is, so I feel really bad about that, I can't credit them, but I mean, I, I'll, I'll tell you, this is somebody else's point of view. When I was 15, I spent a month working on an archaeological dig. I was talking to one of the archaeologists one day during our lunch break, and he asked those kinds of getting to know you questions you ask young people. Do you play sports? What's your favorite subject? And I told him, no, I don't play any sports. I do theater. I'm in choir. I play violin and piano. I used to take art classes. And he went, wow, that's amazing. And I said, oh, no, but I'm not any good at any of them. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> do a lot of stuff, and you're just not really good at any of them. And he said something that, that uh, then that I will never forget and which absolutely blew my mind because no one had ever said anything like it to me before. I don't think being good at things is the point of doing them. I think you've got all these wonderful experiences with different skills, and that all teaches you things and makes you an interesting person no matter how well you do them. And that honestly changed my life because I went from a failure, someone who hadn't been talented enough to, to any, at anything to excel, to someone who did things because I enjoyed them. I had been raised in such an achievement-oriented environment, so inundated with the myth of talent, that I thought it was only worth doing things if you could win at them. And that is the, the message I want to leave with you, is that you are doing this because you love it. And I hope you are doing it because you love it. And it's really nice to get, you know, to get applause for doing these awesome things. Um, but in the end, it's because you love doing it. And because, and, and maybe as it, you know, you don't love practicing, but as you have these experiences, you will learn to love it more and more the more you do it because it is developing you as a person. So thank you for being part of my developing, you know, because this makes me happy to teach all of you wonderful students. You're amazing. So thank you very much. And thank you Thank you, people, for being here today. I appreciate it. Yes, they all did wonderful. Did you almost have the